What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Umbi Entertainment Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Mercenaries here today, everybody. I'm joined by three-man broadcast here today. I just invited a whole bunch of people who want to join us right now on this session. And uh, right now, we're going to continue building this massive world right now as we get ready to undergo the actual uh, event, which is going to occur very, very soon. How are you, Mr. Three-Man? How are you doing on this lovely evening tonight? I can't hear you! Oh, that's it. All right. the way up in this tree, and you're just like... pissing me off, man. Oh, yeah, that's right. You build, you're still building your little tree house, eh? Well, it's pretty much done, but I just got to add some uh, traps and stuff now. Well, I mean, sure. whenever, whenever you're ready to get your ass kicked, you let me know. We're going to meet up in the cell games ring, okay? Okay. Are Sounds you good. testing my ability to kill Hold you? Hold on. I, I just got a message from Beast Bro number 125. Let's see what he says here. Sir, Beast I got later today. Ah, well, the French toast bread man can't really play right now, so... All right. Well, uh, while you're working on your little treehouse, I have to I have to finish the cell games ring. By the way, holy shit, There's so oh, much to free. I, I can't wait until this war actually happens because I know exactly what I'm gonna do, and it's gonna be very very cool. I swear, everybody seems like they have a plan. They have a plan, but I guarantee you, half these plans y'all have cooked up ain't gonna work. Are you insane? Well, like, what what makes you think your plan is any better than ours? I didn't say my plan was any better, but I mean Tyler acts like he has the most. A concealed plan that no one's gonna be able to break through. There's well, no I mean, he he's he's a little insane. I don't see how, you know, anybody would think a giant fucking like wall of lava would prevent anyone else from like getting in there. I mean, I I personally think it's very simple to get in his inside of his little fortress. But I mean, after all, I am Mark number forty-seven Iron Man, so you guys can't beat that. Look at look look, look at. Look at this side of town. My God. You know, it'll be really ironic if somebody ends up hiding in here, like like in, in, in the British side of town, because that'll be really funny. Because you, you would think on the other side, there's just like so much to do. And let alone the entire time the president was hiding out in Britain. That would be very funny, in my opinion. It goes back to what I was saying. You put them in the most um, obvious area, but no one would check because it's so obvious. They're like, there's no way to put them there. There's no way. Well, then again, I don't know, but for those of you out there that, that, that are wondering when exactly this war is going to happen, this war is going to happen October 5th on a Sunday. Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon, this entire battle will ensue. Everything that you guys see around you here is going to be used as, you know, uh, I, I guess you could say a test subject because everything can be used against your opponent. So um, we're, we're going to have to decide who's what. I'm already calling it right now. I'm going to be a part of the mercenaries, so... God help whoever's going to be uh, the survivors, so, um, especially you. I mean, it, it'll be really interesting to see what happens where, because if me and you end up working together, all I have to say is, uh, we're, we're going to do, like, the whole Android 18, 17 gimmicks. We're going to walk around, destroy everything, looking for, like, who we need to look for. Of course, if you're against me, Brandon, <laughs> I'm going to doctor your row your ass. I'm going to go hunting for you, just saying. How are you going to choose teams, exactly? Well, I mean, I, I guess we're going to have to, like, really figure that out. But, I mean, I volunteered to be the mercenary. I do not want to be a president. I, I don't want to have to deal with that pressure just yet. Why? Well, be because one? I want to start blowing stuff up. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm a very explosive type of person. You know, you know that. Well, even as president, you can be destructive. You ain't got to be. Well, yeah, but then I'll give away my position and then I'm dead. Not if the opposite ends of the map, because right now. Well, why, why, why would I want to do that? Maybe to lower the people out so you can, you know, Are you, show kidding your me? you can show your dominance that way. Like I said, anybody who has an Xbox One who wants to be a part of this, all you have to do is just let me know. You can join whenever you want. The session is open. So, um, I mean, like, where do you think is like the strong point for this map? And like, where do you think is the weak point? Because for me, I think one of the weak points for this map is is probably uh, the British side because there's not too much going on over there. You have an air base, you have some military outposts, you have like a garden and, and, and a hospital, but that's pretty much it. Whereas opposed to like the American side, I guess you could say, there's just like so much, you know, to this place, whereas as opposed to over there, you can't really hide as as much as you can, you know? So I don't know, that, that's just me. I mean, what do you think? I feel that say like the white house or the tga house i feel like those are the weak points because if you're inside of a big building i mean you're not going to really know who's around you so they could be putting tnt outside of the wall while you're in there hiding so you would never know that they set off a, a case of tnt that's going to cause a trans reaction to kill everybody in that house so 
Very true. I, I, I can see your little tree house. I don't know what you're building over there, but uh, I need to go finish the White House, actually, now that I think about it. I mean, you're kind of right, but, like, you think of the White House, it's like this big protective place, and it's really big, by the way. And I feel like you can get lost really easily, but uh, I forgot where we put the trap. Where, where exactly did we put, like, the little trap that goes underground? The trap in the White House? Oh, you put a trap in the White House? Ah, uh, shit! Uh, well, uh, that's right, that's right. You, you don't know about it, do you? No, I never, no one never said anything. Okay, well, I mean, there's a secret passage in, in the White House that only me and certain people know about, so... I'm actually trying to figure out where exactly that is right now so let me see is there anything in this chest box okay i need to start putting like loaves of steak in here or something you don't even know where the fucking trap is so well, yeah because remember we haven't played on this map in like forever so ah oh, i see there we go wow i haven't fucking been here in a while all right well you know let me ask you something like what are your thoughts on you know what's going on today in our world like for example like i don't know how well you've been keeping up with like your stuff um but lately in terms of like i mean we, we talked about it before and a lot of people commented before but in terms of like police brutality and you know police dictation and whatnot like what's going on with like the world today is it just me or is the world going more and more into shit on a daily basis like nations are starting to turn on each other you know people are starting to like become very very aggressive and like things aren't really playing off for the better if you know what i'm saying so um like like what are your thoughts on that because i i feel like i feel like the direction that we're going in right now isn't looking so good and um especially with what's going on with like governments and police and stuff like that so like like what is your opinion on that there's an apocalypse coming whether it's a zombie or you know people starting riots but there is some kind of apocalypse coming i believe and i mean it could be us citizens versus cops because you know i've been seeing lots of videos recently about you know this this one guy he made a rap video about how cops are misusing their ability to pr protect us quote unquote they're just you know now they're just doing whatever they want because they think oh i got the authority to do it you know like like he said in the video they're, they're criminals of permission as he put it so i feel as if uh, cops are abusing their powers and the government's just they're just running mad with power right now, and they just feel like they can do whatever the hell they want to just because. I will admit, though, the, the, the gas prices have gone down. That's the only good thing I've seen that come out, came out of all of this. Do you really believe gas prices went down? Yeah, they really did. At least down here they have. They went, it went from like three thirty over here to like $3 now. It's about to be probably about $2 now. Are you serious? I mean, I, I, I really couldn't tell the difference. I don't know how the gas prices are up there right now, but they're Pretty about to be. darn expensive, yeah. I'll tell you that much. Yet yeah. we're over here with like three dollars, three oh one, three dollars, two nine, maybe two ninety nine today. I don't know. I haven't. All right. So like, I mean, you're saying an apocalypse. Like, what kind of apocalypse are like? Are you sensing or feeling? One where the streets are quiet. No one's really on the road anymore. They're just looking out to see if they're gonna be like hunt. I feel like the police are like out to hunt people now. They're not even doing their job anymore. It's just like I, I actually agree with that as well. I mean, I don't know how many people are going to agree or disagree with that, but I, I truly agree with that because the, the way the way everything is setting up right now, like, it's it's leading up to destabilization. Like, it's problem-reaction-solution. They create the problem. They come, we, I mean, we react to it, of course, and they come up with the solution. Um, but do you think there's more of a reason to, like, cops and, you know, government officials doing these things for a reason, or do you think it's just out of the norm, like, out of the blue, like, random stuff happening? Like, do you think that all these cops that are doing this are just doing it out of random order or do you think like there's a bigger plan to this like they're all doing this for some reason maybe they're just doing it because they have permission i mean they have a gun so they're just like you know i, I, I just maybe they think i've never used this thing before let me just go ahead and use it on this guy for no reason you know i mean using it to kill someone's dog that's a pointless reason using it to shoot a kid holding a wii remote that's for no reason shooting a kid like they, they choke someone out and then they shot him, and then they killed the man, and then put handcuffs on a dead guy. Like, who? Did, why? Oh yeah, I remember that. They they killed the fucking guy, and they put handcuffs on him. That that that's just so inhumane, if you ask me. I mean, really. That's no better than what they're doing over there in Iraq or wherever they were doing that crap. Like where you see those crazy people just chain or, or tying people up and chains on their heads. Like, that's what we're doing. The cops are doing here are no better than what they're doing over there. 
J- just like in Mercenaries, I'm going to blow everything up trying to kill you, Bran. Oh, okay. Is I mean, it... it's tr- I'm just saying, if you're president, I want to see your strategic order, and I want to see how exactly you are going to fare up against, you know, an, an oncoming barrage of people looking for you, trying to, like, literally just tear you from limb to limb. So prepare, Brandon. Just saying. Are you sure you want to get your um, get my abilities tested out against you like that? I mean, I mean, for those of you out there who want to see Brandon as president or Three Man Broadcast as president and me hunting him down, let me know in the comment section below because, Brandon, I love you, but I'm sorry. In a situation like this, I will go the extra mile to look for you, and I will find you. And when I find you, Brandon, I will eliminate you. What are you, Liam Neeson? Yeah, I will I find am. you. <laughs> and I will kill you. Well, yeah, I, that's exactly what it is. I will find you. There's no place you can hide, even if you're in that treehouse, right? I mean, I that wouldn't be the first place I would check for obvious reasons. Why would I be naive enough to check your little crappy treehouse? I mean, crappy treehouse. Yeah, he went, I mean, he went there. That treehouse don't have no missiles. That treehouse don't have like no fucking defense mechanisms, like some warhead or some shit strapped on it. Hell no. You don't know what this thing has. You acting have like, acting like that treehouse has like some sort of safeguard, as if you have like some fucking sentu beans up there and you're fucking conjuring up a kamehameha wave. Yeah. As far that. as you know, I could have a secret passageway to the White House. You you have no you like I could have an escape. Oh, room. oh no 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 no! You're not gonna do that now. I'm right next to it. I mean, yeah, yeah, you are next to it, but I'll make sure that before anything even ensues, that White House isn't even standing there. Plus, I have my other house down there too, so. You mark my word. Oh, I don't know what you're building. You're building like a fucking, like a, a little forest city over there. I don't know what you're doing, but all I gotta say is this. There is no house, there is no vehicle, there is no tank, no castle, no fortress that can save you from me. Do you understand me? We don't even know if we're gonna be against each other yet. Well, we true. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, it, it, whoever wants to be a part of this, let me know in the comment section below if you want to be a mercenary or a survivor. Because, uh, I mean, I, I, I flat out said it. I want to be the hunter, not the hunted. But then again, being the hunted is kind of fun because, like, you get to, like, watch and, like, look around and see what the hell's going on. And in essence, it's like you're, you're just playing you're, you're playing safe right now. You're just like, all right, well, I'm just going to watch these guys blow everything up and they can't even find me because, like, I'm in the most simplest place. I mean, for all we know, once, once the time is up, this one guy could have been hiding in the closet the entire time. You don't know. What if the subscribers want to see Three Man versus Unreal ENT Gaming? I mean, like I said, I'm a mercenary, bro. I feel like someone's gonna say that. I want to see Three Man from go against Unreal ENT. I, I'm, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be coming with swords and shit. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm like fucking Conan the Barbarian. I'll go in there and I will just. Mm, you're done, buddy. You're gonna get molested. <sighs> from you? Okay. I, I, I did you might as well sit down in your little treehouse and read the Goosebumps books. And by the time you're done with them, and you put the book down, you look outside your window, everything that you've ever known will be destroyed. Dude, oh, really? Me. Now. And then you will be the last monkey I come after. You, 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 you're gonna, you're gonna fucking look up. You, you're gonna look down. You're gonna see me look up with like my face looking at you. I'm like, I'm coming, Brandon. And you're gonna see me climb that treehouse. And you're gonna be pooping everywhere trying to get away. And then finally, moments of glory. I'm gonna rip your face off, Mr. <laughs> Man. He thinks I'm gonna watch him climb up and, and just scale up the fucking walls of this place as if I'm gonna let him in like that. Yeah, oh. right. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like a spider. I'll climb up there with my minions, Tyler, and everybody else, and we're gonna. Mm. Oh boy. I'm just saying, I, I, I'm an android. In, in, in this game, I will be an android, and I will hunt you down. Yeah, but see, we're, we're gonna have an alternate story. Oh, go go on, do tell. We're, we're gonna have this this new comer, this new hero. It's not Gohan nor Trunks that is gonna stop you androids from ever just causing so much. Oh, oh okay. And, and what's your name? Why why you gotta ask name? Well, I'm nameless right now. You don't need to know my name. Oh, so it's it's an unknown nameless warrior. It could be. You know. So, you never so know. that means I can call you whatever I want to, right? I mean, we already know what you're probably gonna say, but I'm not gonna. Oh, I, I, what am I gonna say? I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll let you say it first before I say. No, I no, go ahead. What am I gonna say? It's possible that you'll call me a bitch, as always. <laughs> well, uh, I wasn't going to say that all that now, but you're giving me ideas now. I mean, like I said, this is a big world, okay? We have construction sites, we have castles and hospitals and stuff. I don't care where you go. I don't care what you do. The bottom line is this. If you end up on the other team, me and my androids, and you can mark us down whatever number you want us to mark us down. 
Androids 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever. I will be coming after you and solely after you. Not not your little bodyguards because I, I don't need your bodyguards. I'll be coming after you. But what if they stop you? What if they prevent you? So Okay, well? I, I can come back. I have time. I have about an hour to hunt you down. If by some miracle you survive that hour, which I know you won't, and I know for a fact you won't, then they can win the game. That's real funny. That's really funny. Just saying. You know, have, you ever, have you ever thought about starting up your own manga? Starting up my own manga? Um, I won't lie, I have. I have. A any any backstory to what you wanted to uh, you know create? Um, as far as not a, not really a story, but um, it, it was more so characters like no character would have like no one would be set to any one amount of power. They would have multiple powers. They would be able to contain. They wouldn't be just able to hold. Just a Kamehameha. If they had that, they'd have also a Gallic Gun. They'd also learn to do destructiveness and other things like that. They wouldn't have just one power. The only thing, though, is that, you know, something distinctive like a Spirit Bomb, the only one person can hold that. I mean, we're not going to have everybody have a Spirit Bomb, so. Okay. As far as character based, though, I would just. Everybody would have different things. It wouldn't be anything. It'd be a combination of Avatar, Last Airbender, it'd be Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, a bunch of different things. Well, as you know, I already have a character by the name of Rykon. A lot of people know about it. Some people don't. Um, I will be revealing more information about him very, very soon, including the exclusive picture that I'm going to have my friend conjure up for me, which uh, I'm, I'm, I really don't want to say it, but I'm just, I might as well just ruin it right now. Uh, there is an, uh, There's going to be an exclusive picture of Super Saiyan 4 Rykon, battling super saiyan 3 vegito and he's choking the life out of him in a chokehold in like a, in, a, in a guillotine chokehold and it's very fucking raw looking it's it's pretty sick like you would think vegito is fucking so powerful right but then like you have like this person like wrapped around him just squeezing the fucking life out of him it looks really sick so a lot of great um, stuff coming who, who's kenneth davis uh that kenneth davis that is one of my friends that is working on his own uh, manga called Dragon Ball Bad Galaxy, I believe. So pretty much his story is alluded to Vegito being the main character and stuff, from what I know at least. And uh, yeah, well, why why do you ask, sir? Because he, well, I've been talking to him recently on Facebook, and I've been wondering. He's he's been showing me a couple of things that he's been working on. I was like, who is this guy? I was just like, oh, well, maybe he's a friend of Alex's or something. Oh, he is. He is. But uh, that's not the main concern here. The main concern is. If you're on the other team, hmm, <laughs> you better prepare yourself because we will be coming after you and for your blood only. Do you understand me? You sound so confident as if this is going to be no competition whatsoever. Well, I don't know, man. You're you're running and hiding and, and we're looking and searching. So it's like cat and mouse here. It's like Tom and Jerry. Well, there's no rule saying the, the president can't go killing you guys. No, yeah, that's true. That's true. But remember, once the president dies once, it's game over. So do you really want to take that chance? Do you really want to take that chance? Is, is whoever whoever gets chosen as president might want to have balls enough to try. I I mean, I wouldn't recommend that as as having balls, I guess you could say. Hey, some people are crazy. I mean... Well, I mean, whoever's going to be the president and you decide to fight, I really don't see what... Because, like, you're you're the leader. You're, like, the last fucking airbender, I guess you could say. Like, you're, like, the last fucking dude in charge. Why would you want to risk your life to fight everybody off when, when you're going to get fucking slaughtered? It makes no sense. Because you want to show your man that you're strong. Oh, God. You're you know, only a fool would do something like that. I mean, truly. Are, are, are you telling me you're going to do that? You're going to show off that you're strong? I'm not gonna... well, so I'll, make make the game, I'll make the game last at least, not just like next 10 minutes I'm dead. Uh, I'll the I'll mercenaries here. place is looking sick. Anyways, everybody, thank you all for watching. This has been 3 Man Broadcast and Unreal Entertainment Gaming. If you guys are fans, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all latest Minecraft news information and updates. If you guys enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to hit it up with a like and a favor. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. Also, let me know in the comment section below on what exactly we should build next because there is so much so much to build here i mean we don't even know where to what to do anymore what to like conjure up so if you guys have any ideas let me know anyways everybody stay tuned for the next episode we all hope you guys enjoyed the war is october 5th so i really hope to see you guys there and on that given note guys we'll be seeing you all in the next episode take it easy everybody peace